Okay, so this is my um, one of my red cardies that I made a while back, which is called a red cardie. <laughs> it's very bright and sunny. It's a lovely day. So um, this cardie is just a plain knit cardie, really. Um, I cast on and did a, a rib, then I knit up and added a collar here instead of uh, like a neck so pretty easy and this is a oh it's a raglan some might argue the easiest thing to knit in the world <laughs> and um, let's see what else oh yeah and these tiny buttons which are really great lovely little tiny buttons but especially uh, rib on the cuff yeah so that's the red cardi for you modeling it here Green, green grass, huh? It's a bit obvious here. Today I'm making a start on the Mum's Day shawl. So we've got a couple of weeks until Mum's Day. And I did this kind of lacy design. I got it from Pleasant Seas actually, and I'm going to leave a link for her. It's one of her lace tutorials that she's got. <laughs> and I have made her hats before. Which is really great. Uh, she doesn't seem to do much anymore on YouTube, but come back, Pleasant Seas, you were great. <laughs> anyway, so I've done this little sort of lacy sample, and from that I've made up my chart, which only I understand. <laughs> so I'm going to cast on, and this baby merino I thought was a DK, but it's not. I think this is a fingering weight yarn, so I'm just going to have to see if I even have enough because I've only got two balls actually. It's a nice colour and I suppose I could always buy more, but I'd probably like to use my stash. So if this is not enough, we're going to add a colour to it. <laughs> Will that look weird? I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, let's get on with the cast on. So I have my Drops Merino 4 ply, I think, fingering weight yarn and it's a 100% wool superwash and I've got me Chiago 4mm needles I was going to use a 5 but the swatch is very loose I'm not sure I want it that loose so I'm actually going to do it on a 4mm needle if we don't like it we can always pull it out <laughs> well that's not going to happen right okay if I can find the end so I'm just doing my slip knot Should have some slipknot music in the background when I do this. And I'm going to do a five stitch. Oop. I'm going to do a five stitch cast on. So I'm going to start off with knitting into the stitch as you would a basic cast on. There we go. Now I've got this in slow motion as a little tip tutorial so go and check it out if you um, are not sure uh, obviously it starts off normal and then it turns into slow motion which would be really annoying if you're a good knitter because you wouldn't want to see anything in slow motion <laughs> okay so I've got three stitches nearly <laughs> three stitches Here's a project I haven't shared in a while. <laughs> it's the terracotta cardi. And looking at it, it's less terracotta and more orange. So I should rename it the orange cardi, but um, I think I'm going to call it the basic cardi because that's what it is. I cast on provisionally here. So I cast on for the back first uh, and then obviously for the fronts afterwards. This is knit in pieces. so. I knit the back first, then the fronts, 
then I attach the sleeves. So I knit up, took in some stitches here to make some shaping. I then decreased here for the raglan, so that's pretty simple. And then I, because I'm designing it, it's not from a pattern, pattern I am making. Uh oh, helicopter. Um, I wanted to get the sleeves in first before I finish and then normally you would decrease here for the neck but I didn't do that I've kind of left it open as it were <laughs> to design so I'm going to do something with that so even though it's kind of a basic cardi that bit might not be basic <laughs> I then um, did the sleeves because I wanted them to be set in before I finish them off so to make sure they fit because I'm designing it as I go along and I've provisionally tacked it together so that's the basic cardi and I'll be sharing more of that progress next week and letting you know what I do with the neck the sleeves and whether or not I put ribs on the end Yes, basic cardi. <laughs> I just wanted to share my booty progress. And here we are so far. So it's going to be like this and like this. And I expect I'm going to knit round. It wants me to cut the yarn though and I don't want to. So I'm going to think of a way of doing it without cutting the yarn. Yeah, so I'm going to think of a way around that. I'm using the um, Knit Pro Symphony wooden needles and these are a 3mm needle and I'm using the Baby Drops Merino, 100% Superwash, 100% Merino. Scruffy looking ball, as usual. <laughs> so that's my progress, so not much progress, but you know, decisions were being made. There you go. So here I am with the Mother's Day shawl. <laughs> and um, this is how far I've got. And I'm still doing a bit of designing actually. So um, it might look slightly different to this. I'm still contemplating. I bought this lovely little um, what are they called? Progress Keepers from a knitting shop recently. So that was quite nice and I'll share that with you later. Um, the wool keeps unwinding so I'm having to keep on winding it up. I don't want to drop it down there. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I might not be able to get it back. Castle's closed today. Yeah, so um, what I've done so far is cast on five and then just increasing every second row and adding in some lacy holes and also doing these kind of ridges which I rather like the look of. Can we see them? Is it going to focus? It doesn't want to focus. Maybe it's the colour. It's focusing on this which is actually quite nice. Yeah, so I'm using the uh, four mil, uh, sorry, the fingering weight drops merino, baby drops merino, and I'm using the four millimeter Chiagus. And I did try a five millimeter needle, but that kind of didn't really work very well. This was just too loosey goosey. Um, yeah. So progress. Oops. So far on the Mum's Day Lacy Shawl. So like I said, this design might change a little bit. I'm uh, still in the design process at the moment. But I'm hoping to have a pattern. Will I have one by Mother's Day? Hmm, we shall see. <laughs> you might have to knit it after Mother's Day rather than before, we'll see.
we do today. Pretty foggy. I wanted to share my terracotta shawl progress with you and as you can see it's getting quite large. <laughs> yeah so there it's all curling up at the top but uh, I'm liking the colour. I cast on six stitches and I've been increasing every second row and it's just a plain knit really. But um, I think it's going nicely. I've actually exceeded the number I should have before I cast off because it just wasn't big enough. Now I'm wondering, um, I'm doing it in a DK weight yarn, and I'm wondering if I did it in a chunky originally. I build it as a DK I think, chunky slash DK, but yeah, it was definitely bigger than this. So it all depends on your yarn really. I mean this is the... Um, Drops Merino cotton, 50% cotton, I think. Hang on, here it is. Here's the ball band. So it's the Drops Cotton Merino, superwash yarn. Oops. Oh, hang on, dropped it. So this is the Drops Cotton Merino, superwash yarn. 50% wool and 50% cotton. I'm using a 4mm needle with this, but I think if you want to get bigger quicker, you need a bigger needle. Plus it is quite a dense fabric for a scarf really. Yeah, so I might upgrade the pattern to include these stitches, these extra stitches I've added on. Yeah, and I'm on my third ball and these are 50 gram balls, so it's already had 100 grams of yarn. And I just pull it along a bit onto the table. Can see how big it is. Sorry, there's a mess everywhere. <laughs> Nothing new there. <laughs> anyway, I kind of want to get this done because I'm doing the um, lacy Mother's Day shawl, and I kind of want to kind of give that priority. But I do want to get this one finished as well. So let's see. Let's see if I um, put this to one side to get the other one finished, or whether or not I manage this one and manage the other one. Let's see. <laughs> It's like a challenge. Is it going to work? Hmm. Yeah. Right, so that is the terracotta shawl. Progress so far. I've made a start on my helical socks and I'm doing a rounded toe and I think I'm just about to add in hmm, got paint all over me <laughs> excuse fingers anyway I'm doing a rounded toe and I'm just about to add in the next helical so this is this wall of wool Really nice ball of wool. And like I said before, it's either a King Cole or a West Yorkshire spinner. Might even be a Stylecraft. I don't think it's a Regia. But don't hold me to that. <laughs> so that's the first ball, and that's coming along quite nicely. So I'm about to add in this second ball of yarn, and that's what's going to make it helical. And again, yeah, I think this is a Stylecraft or a Sardar. Pretty sure. But I could be wrong. Anyway, it's a four ply fingering weight yarn, so you can use any. It's sock wool, so that's 75% wool, 
25% nylon or polyamide or something. This one is polyamide, I think, as is this one. And I'm using the Addy 40 centimeter needles, and these are 2.25. Yeah, because you kind of want it a bit um, tight for socks because of the wear, you know. I just wanted to show you these great little progress keepers that I got from a little yarn shop locally. Look at that. Aren't they cute? I've already got one. The Dalek is on my lacy shawl that I showed. Um, but these guys I might give one to my sister that one we'll see I might be greedy and have them all for myself <laughs> I could put one on here which one would go both would I think look at that one that TARDIS one's great isn't it oh okay spinning wheel look at that very nice so cute and then we've got TARDIS let's pull that one out oh where's it gone Oh, how nice is that? Oop, progress keepers. <laughs> Put that on a necklace, actually, couldn't you? Be nice on a necklace. Anyway, back to the knitting. So I'm adding in this helical line. That's going to be the next line that I do. Helical socks. Let's see how long they take me. I am busy knitting lots of things. <laughs> I wanted to share this beautiful cardigan that my sister knit up recently and it's a baby cardi and it's using scrappy yarn so we have lots of yarn bits left over from projects uh, they could be blanket projects or sock projects and these are kind of mixed fiber yarn so you'll have some wool in there you'll have some acrylic maybe you'll have some polyamide in there you might have some silk in there some alpaca in there so this was inspired by a YouTuber called Knitting for Baby who does these lovely baby jumpers. Um, so it was inspired by a garter stitch cardigan that she had on her channel. There it is. Um, and so it's a bit of a pat pattern hack really. The garter stitch design had raglan sleeves and was generally the same shape but instead of the stockinette we have here it was garter stitch i like stockinette better actually than garter stitch in baby garments but garter stitch does make it blumpy maybe <laughs> so yeah so this is a pattern hack made with recycled yarns or sorry not recycled these are new yarns but they've been upcycled from uh, sort of leftover yarns you could call them uh, another project that you can make with those kind of yarns is um, like a crochet blanket project and I'm going to show you one later on either in the program or in the next vlog we shall see <laughs> so baby jumper did I mention how it was made it's top down top down cast on knit the rib and then it's all in one raglan shaping get to here then you knit that separately and you knit this separately. Button band included, rib and then cast off here. And then for the sleeves, pick up here, knit, rib, cast off. 
yeah a simple um cardi really but uh, very effective and very beautiful hooray for baby cardies <laughs>